Hi hey guys, welcome to my shed. Today's uh, video is a PSP one. Yeah, started getting into it a little bit and found quite a few little gems. I've probably shown you on some of my channel updates. Uh, but I'm going to quickly run through what I've got and um, what I could possibly get and what you guys may be able to suggest for games for me to, to get. So I'm going to start off with this, the what I bought most recently, which is the PSP uh, 3003. Just updating from my, or upgrading from my PSP original that was kindly given to me by a friend uh, with some games. Uh, and it's a really sturdy system, even though I can't find it at the minute. I think it's in the house somewhere because the battery went. Uh, the I couldn't find the power lead. Um, and I upgraded to the 3003. I bought, upgraded to a 3003. Um, and when it to, I got it for a really good price because these things are quite priced now. I wanted to be able to plug it into my TV set to, to play games and watch movies. <clears throat> and I really love the PSP. The, the packaging is so ahead of its time, the, the size of it. Um, but when it turned up, the battery had swollen. So I had to get a new battery, which was uh, kind of frustrating. But I the lady gave me £10 back. So I got it for 50 quid. Battery cost me eight quid, so it was a really good deal. I've got it up and running now. Uh, it's got Dissidia on there. You know, it's quite lightweight. It's it's nowhere near as sturdy as the the original PSP, PSP original. But this is a PSP Lite by name and by nature. So uh, yeah, really really happy with it, and uh, yeah, I think it's a good buy. Uh, the, price, the market for PSP games, I've noticed, is going up on some of the bigger titles like Metal Slug, um, which I was after. Um, you get the SNK collection, which is the same one that's on the PS4, which has the Kari Warriors on it and all the arcade classics. But I've seen that going, the cheapest I've seen is 115 quid on eBay. It's Japanese. But I think they do play on the, uh, I don't know if there is a, actually a PAL version. Of the PSP 3000. The gadget on top is the, the camera, uh, which I'll never use. It's just quite a gimmick. But it does rotate. Again, you know, what was this, 2004 or something? I don't know when this actually came out. But again, the graphics and everything are really impressive. So I'm really happy with this. I just need to get the lead now so I can bring it up to the TV. I did have the lead on my old one, and I didn't realise, I don't know if you can... Remember back to some of my early uh, uh, channel updates where I was trying to force the lead in because the connection looked like the right fit, but it was back to front and it just didn't realise it's only usable on the 2000 and 3003. So this will rig up to my TV. I just need to get the lead. So, yeah, that's the, the uh, console. So I'm quite happy with that. Again, I got it at a, a, re a really good price. Uh, moving on, I'm going to start my films. Again, it may not look a massive collection, but I'm, I'm carefully buying. There's probably one or two doozies in there that I may have bought just more for fun. But um, there's so much crap available on the, on the PSP as well, so I'm trying to filter that out. So I'm going to start off with the movies. I've got Dawn of the Dead. Again, all these you'd have seen on my channel update. Dawn of the Dead. I've got Land of the Dead. I've got the Dawn of the Dead remake, which is a really good remake. And these boxes are just so good. I don't know why this format never took off. I really don't know. It's just so much far superior. I don't know if it's a bit of a memory issue on uh, UMDs. Uh, but it's just such a tidy, lovely system to have. Uh, Devil's Rejects. Classic Evil Dead, which you can get for really cheap, good prices. There's some films, one or two of the anime is not quite expensive. We've got Blade 1 and 2. I don't know if they did the third one on PSP. Goonies. Same with Horror Halloween. Then we've got a bit more horror. We've got a Hellraiser. <laughs> and then a bit of Tosh you got. This was cheap, but I did. I 
quite fancy it. And that was seven seconds, Wesley Snipes. Tamsin Alfway. I think that's the only movie she ever made. And that's my movies now. I've had more and I've got rid of them. So I'll never watch them. I did see in Cash Generator the day on back. So I might go back, back to get that. That is, These are all things I'll probably I'll whack on the small TV here. So just check. Still recording. Yep. Um, moving on to the games. Got Blaze Blue, which I also have on. Um, get it out. Xbox 360. <laughs> what I think would be more novel and, and fun to play it on the PSP. And the graphics on this are amazing. You know, this thing's nearly 20 years old. It's brilliant, isn't it? So back to a stop. Um, Avatar. Two Midway Treasures, which uh, I didn't know I had it. I think I was hoping it would, I'd had the other volume, not this volume, but this is the extended play. Untold Legends, again, looks like a good sort of dungeon crawler. I love games, isometrical games on PSP, DS, uh, Game Boy Advance, Bubble Bobble, Sato Legends. And these boxes look brilliant. Twisted Metal, the obligatory Warhammer. Again, I don't know if that's more tactical, but again, it's isometrical, but I imagine it's a bit more of a tactics game, and that's like a, a blast em up car one. Again, I've got that on the Xbox 360 as well, I think. Uh, Twisted Metal. Oh no, Blood Drive I've got. Dissidia, which I've got on now. Really nice graphics. Army of Two. Which is actually pretty good on PSP. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. It's good for a uh, that sort of Resident Evil looking game because these PSP there's not many that look decent on PSP. I don't think. Got grip shift, fast action. Um, one of my favourites. Got pinball. Got leave pinball. Now I want to get the got leave versus. Um, some of a big American company, pinball company. Anyway, that's another pinball game on PSP. I didn't know existed. It's quite expensive, actually. Uh, Battle Zone. Good tank shoot them up. Uh, then the classic Chinatown Wars. Grand Theft Auto. Alien Syndrome. Going to do something with that. Brilliant one now, Namco Museum, which has Rolling Thunder on it. Some top ones on that, actually. Some real arcade classics. <clears throat> um, Max versus uh, MX versus ATV. Again, if you just like something to lose your mind in for a bit, fast, quick action uh, racing. I have Grand Theft Auto Liberty City. Not too fussed about that. I like the Chinatown Wars, it's isometrical. One thing I will say about uh, Chinatown Wars, it plays absolute havoc with my eyes because the distance, the car, the car's going so fast, you can't preempt. It actually starts going through me as I'm racing it. It can make me quite nauseous. Uh, we've got Pursuit Force. I believe there is another P Pursuit Force on PSP, I think. And then the game I bought, the, the system got back into PSP for was uh, Ghosts and Goblins, uh, which is probably one of my favourite games of all time, especially on the PSP. I think some people don't actually like it. I absolutely love it. Um, and it just sits nicely next to my Funko Reaction, um, Arthur in Armour. I just love the Goblins, Ghosts and Goblins, Ghosts and Ghosts franchise. It's one of the best video games ever made. I also own it on the Japanese uh, Game Boy Advance. And I've got it on something else somewhere. I can't remember what. It'll come to me. But yeah, really pleased with that. So guys, that's my PSP collection. 
Um, if you can recommend any games, I do love platform shooters. I'm not too in, I'm not into first person shooters. I just don't think the graphics are there yet. I'm not into them anyway, really. Uh, but even if the Japanese, I know there's a bit of some games look really good in Japan, the Japanese ones, but I know it'll be an issue with the language barrier, opening them up and just navigating um, to the to the game, the, play the game. But if you can suggest any, I'm, I'm, I would really love to know any you can recommend and any at a reasonable price. So, guys, thank you for joining me at Mike's Shed, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.